video two. Here we go. So look at that view. Look at Schmitz. And here we are. We're on West 7th Street. We're up on the roof. That great old tin building. So here we are. We're looking down. Old pawn shop. The old garden theater. So what a view. Down there is downtown St. Paul. Schmitz. The river. The old grain flower towers. I don't know what the hell the proper name is on them. Years ago, I had heard a story about a kid that tried to climb these fences to steal a kegger and then he fell on them and impaled himself. I didn't just hear it, I, I knew of it and I, I didn't know the kid's name, but I went to school with him. So, I've picked, I've spent the last two hours just picking in here and we're up on top of the building right now. Now, just think you own this building, it's summertime. You could come up here, do some serious sun tanning. You could build something. This building's for sale, by the way. But, oh boy, does it need a lot of work. So let's go back here and see what's up here. An old grate. Steel. See, someone has a little garden over on that roof. Great idea. Great idea. That's what they do in New York, you know. So, look at this. You just got to love it, right? You just got to love an old metal building like this. You say, how the hell can you love that, Michael? I don't know, but I do. It's pretty to me. I'll go over here, and then we'll look in here. Look at this. This is the old air conditioning system. It, it, it ran off of water. Look, someone pulled all that wood out of there since I was here. It's no emergency route. Got an old pitchfork right here. But look at this old thing. Giant. I forget what he called it. There was a name for it. But holy hell. Holy macaronis. You know, I got to get up on the roof of this thing because as you can see, the roof is all patched out and holy. What could have happened is that somebody could have used an old sign to patch a hole up on there. So that's what we'll look for. Look at this. Holy macaron. <laughs> what am I looking for? Any kind of relic, I guess, from the old days. That would still be here. Old wood doors. Not much, brother. But a lot of picking. So this must have shot it down this way. Cool. These are really sharp. I cut myself on them the other day. Look at this steel floored thing here. Jesus. Got an old boom box here, huh? that Sony. Let's check it out. Let's see if we can get that. Maybe he'll throw that in on the deal. And maybe he'll throw this in on the deal, huh? It's kind of old. So we'll get that and that, maybe. We'll come over here in this corner. Oh, you just never know what's back in these things. Now look at these valves. Itchy insulation. See these valves? Aren't they something? Those are pretty. Three big valves right there. Because see the water, he was explaining, would run over the stuff. And that would, that's how it would cool. Some kind of liquid. We got a boom box here. Kind of cool. I guess some of these signs I wouldn't mind having. Someone was having a beer up here. Look at this great steel grate. These picket fences here actually have value with those nice dips in them like that. Those are cool. Look at that lumber down there. Now that's some good wood. So that's the alley there behind the old shop. So what we're going to do is, yeah, we better not. But what we can do, we can use this as a ladder, huh? Uh. Boy, I'm brutal. <laughs> so someone put tile over the top of this at some point. So even if there was an old sign under there, you wouldn't see it. But look at that, look at the view. Climbed up this old rickety thing here, down to the alley, 
over there. I like this, these old fence posts, so these are cool. Well, Metal Mike, always hunting, always picking. Maybe we could sell that, eh? So, I'm dirty. I'm tired. I got 10 bucks left in my name. I'm gonna go home, grab a burger of the most foul McDonald's you've ever seen, and I'll be done. Picking is a lifestyle, brother. I love it. I don't know what more I could show you. Ugh. There are these beautiful sights here. So that's where I'm going to go back into now. Uh, those old crates. Ugh. Aren't I agile? interesting though because well, you never know where you might find something just tucked away well see what I do for fun guys <laughs> if you're a junker and a collector and a picker this is what you gotta love and not and sometimes you know it's not always fi about finding such a priceless treasure but simply about getting out there getting in the mix and just finding a few things that you can save for history's sake and for another collector somewhere. Well, that's kind of interesting. What is that? Hmm, just an old shade. But that's what I mean. It's just, it's crazy. We, I've gone through here many times already and the things that can just simply miss, you can miss over and over again amongst all of this. Okay, guys, I'm a picker. But this was fun. Look at that. This is the remnant. Look at that ceiling. That'll get you, huh? Metal Mike, as always, out picking, out hunting, doing what you love. Hey, now.